Have you got a Fronius inverter which is coming up with a state 104 error like this Fronius inverter is? And you're wondering what it might mean? State 104 on a Fronius inverter means that the grid frequency in all phases is beyond permitted limits. And so what this is telling you is that the inverter is detecting a problem with the, the power from the street, from the electricity grid. So the first thing you always want to do when you see an error like this, state 104, or this very similar error, which is state 101, which means the grid voltage in all phases is beyond permitted limits, is to check your AC circuit breakers for the solar. So if you've got, if your solar inverter is installed beside your uh, switchboard, you'd probably go into the switchboard and find the solar supply main switch. In this case here, this inverter isn't installed beside the switchboard, so uh, we'll check the AC output isolator, which is installed beside the inverter. So we'll just go over here, and you see over here, we've got AC output isolator. So let's just open up. This, this is my uh, test rig here, so there's a couple of little circuit breaks we can see in there, we'll, and you can actually see that one's turned off. We're just going to throw that back on. We should see. Okay, now that's that's still showing up state 104, but now it's in a startup procedure. So it's actually um, going to try and start up now. So some of the, one of the main things there, like I said, if you have a state 104 error, is check the AC output isolator beside the inverter if it's present, and also check the solar supply main switch in your switchboard. Make sure that's in the on position. And if you find either of them are in the off position, well, just go ahead and turn them both turn them back on and and uh, then run through a startup procedure on your inverter see if it actually starts up this could be an issue with the power from the street and you could find that the um, both the solar supply main switch and the AC output isolator are on already and it might be a problem with the power the mains power from the street or it could be a problem from the inverter so the first thing always to do is check those uh, AC circuit breakers make sure they're on in this case, it's actually started up just fine because this was just a, a little uh, test on a working inverter for you. So uh, now, if if you found you checked those uh, circuit breakers and you found it still wasn't working, the best thing to do is find the serial number of the inverter and get in contact with Fronius directly or with a Fronius service partner, like such as Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Now, if you do get in contact with us or Fronius, one thing we're going to need is the serial number of the uh, inverter to find out if it is covered under warranty. The Fronius inverters come with a five-year warranty as standard. So, in the case of all Fronius inverters, you can find the serial number underneath the inverter. So, let's have a look here. So, we'll just go underneath. This is an internal inverter here. If you've got an outdoor one, it'll look a bit different. And you can see there, right there, that's the serial number of this inverter. It's always eight digits followed by a slash 15, 20 or 30 or 40 or 60. So that's what you would have to find. So we can uh, we can find out if it's covered under warranty. If it's covered under warranty, a fairly service agent can usually get your inverter back in action within within a couple of days really usually uh, Fronius has actually got the best service uh, department I think out of any inverter we've seen they they're very quick with their Fronius service partners to get a, a faulty inverter back into action so I hope you found that helpful so like I said if you have a state 104 or state 101 error on your inverter first thing to do is check the solar supply main switch in your switchboard and then also, if, if the inverter is not installed beside the switchboard, you may have an AC output isolator beside the inverter. Check that on as well. And if you've turned both of those on, and you're still having issues, well, probably get in contact with your local Fronius service agent or Fronius directly. Thanks very much for your time. I hope this has been of help.